Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering something brand new off the market, over in the UK at least, and that's the Red Bank Canadian Whiskey. Now, right at the top of the show, I'll tell you that the guys who are uh, importing this sent this over to me for review. So if that bothers you, um, then obviously you do as you will, but this will be one that you're going to want to sit around to listen to. Now, this one here is um, co-founded by Kiefer Sutherland. If you don't know who that is, then you know this is the main actor from 24 and a load of other great films. Some of the, some of my old favourite films, in fact, like um, Dark City and uh, Phone Booth, uh, to name just a very, very, very few. Um, he's really great actor really great actor also a musician um although i have to say i haven't heard much of his stuff so uh, yeah in terms of musician not too worried but um yeah another kind of celebrity endorsed whiskey now uh, obviously this is a canadian whiskey so this is a blend from various sources uh, they're citing it as kind of nova scotia but i don't know if that's where the distilleries are based or if that's just where this company heralds out of um, it's 40% and this currently in the UK sells for, the RRP is 49 but I've seen it as low as 47.95 on Master of Malt, which seems to be pretty much the only place you can get that uh, readily anyway in the, in the UK. But yeah, okay, let's get into it and see what we've actually got in the glass and um, we'll go from there. Um, don't know much about colour because um, it, they haven't cited it, but um, yeah, it looks nice enough. Let's get onto the nose. Okay, now it's, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not sure what they've aged this in, um, it's, obviously, obviously it's going to be quite youthful, I, I would imagine, otherwise they might stick a, a kind of a number on there, but there's some typical kind of new cask vibes from it, like vanillas and honeys, but let me tell you, that, I mean, the overwhelming flavour profiles for me on the nose are that of uh, acetone and you know like you know n nail polish remover and beeswax polish it's um yeah i mean it's very chemically i'll give it that it's very chemically let's try on the palette okay it's very um very young grain forward up front uh, again i'm not sure about the mash bill on this at all in fact, actually, I will say very little transparency about this. Um, I mean, if, if it's out there, I'd love to know. But for me, couldn't find any information. But yeah, very a very strong, youthful grain. Quite a lot of like rye bread and the rice spices that come with that. And at the back end, that astringency is coming back again. That kind of acetone and polish that's coming through. As we're speaking about this, I'm getting a little bit of heartburn as well. Um, I don't... I do get heartburn. I am I'm a sufferer, so I take that with a pinch of salt. But I don't very very often get it with whiskey, to be fair, anymore. Um, only those kind of like, yeah, something like this. Now the finish is, to be fair, quite long. But it's it's long uh, of all of the flavours in it that I don't particularly like. So the rye bread, the astringencies that's coming from those kind of chemically notes that that are coming through, and it's um, I mean it's exceptionally drying on the back end. Um, to the point, I mean, I usually say something along the lines of that that only makes me want to drink more because I want to replace it. But with this one, um, not not so much, to be honest, if I'm being really honest. Now, I don't, um, you know me, usually I'm kind of overwhelmingly positive about these things. Um, I do like new release whiskies. I certainly like to see Canadian whiskey making its way over here. But if I'm being brutally honest, um, this, this doesn't do it for me at all. Um, you know, if, if this might have been a hell of a lot cheaper then maybe and I know we can't compare because okay let's let's do a couple of little baselines so in Canada this sells for about 50 Canadian dollars we run about sort of half that so that would be about 25 to 30 quid in the UK now we're selling this over here for nearly 50 um, yes, okay, the UK tax man takes his, his cut, but uh, you know, in Canada they've also got you know fairly high taxes, and they they've even got a uh, a monopoly on on the uh, on in some states anyway, some provinces. So yeah, I don't think that's much of an excuse to be honest. Um, also, the forty percent is a bit of an issue for me. Um, I I've been cited well in saying I don't mind whiskeys being forty percent if 
the value is reasonable and the taste is reasonable. Um, unfortunately, this is neither of those things. So um, yeah, uh, you know, not to put poke to anything in particular, but if you have a look on Master of Malt, like as of today, citing a few prices off the screen right behind me, um, just looking at Canadian whiskies, the that boutique whiskey company have got a um, Canadian corn eight year old at forty five percent for thirty seven pounds. Um, the lot forty rye is thirty eight pounds. The bareface triple oak is. 34 pounds these are all 43 42 percent um signal hill that's a 40 percent to be fair and i did buy that previously that's 32 pounds but i've seen that as low as 25 yes this is some expensive stuff here's a real kicker jp wise is 18 year old all right i'm not comparing them directly with this because you know economy of scales i'm very aware of that you know that's a, that's a real thing you know they're trying to make things happen as a small business and i'm often cited in saying that um if you want small businesses to continue then you uh, then you should support them but we're not really talking about small business here we're talking about celebrity endorsed whiskey um so yeah the jp wise is 18 year old 47 pounds so a couple of quid less than this um so yeah i guess what i'm trying to say at the end of this i'm not really sure where they're trying to place themselves in the market. Um, one final thing, you know, if there's any more to take umbrage with, if you look at their kind of marketing spiel, um, this is one of those things I'm always wary of, is when in it, within the marketing they have to say something along the lines of, we're aiming towards the whiskey connoisseur as well as the mixologist, as well as the beginner. I don't want to see that. In, um, in in kind of PR stuff because that already tells me if, if you're telling me that you're aiming at the connoisseur and the beginner and the mixologist then you're not actually really aiming for any one of those things really I would say actually largely this is probably a good mixer so yeah out of those three aiming for the mixologists but um, it's certainly not aiming for, for, for me and it's certainly not aiming for probably people watching this now um, don't know for sure but yeah, I've been probably quite overly critical of this, but that's because I think it needs to be overly critical. We can get caught up in kind of PR. There's been a lot of PR about this recently and a lot of influencer style people going to events and things like that and saying how wonderful it is. And that's fine. That might be the case. But my personal experience with this is that it's it's um, it's nowhere near good enough to warrant the price that it's been sold for in the UK at all. Bottom line, that's it. So, yeah. Generally speaking, I would say, unless you're particularly interested in this, it's probably one to avoid uh, or to wait until the inevitable deals come on where they can't sell the stock. So, yeah, um, quite, a, quite a harsh one for me, a very, un, a very unusually harsh one for me. But that just goes to show the quality of the whiskey that I've been covering recently, because if I've got something bad to say about whiskey, I'll say it. It doesn't matter where it came from. But in any case, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to enjoy the rest of this glass. I'll put, you'll probably find me sharing this about because I don't think I'm going to reach for it very often. But I'll say cheers to you. And I'll see you again on more reviews coming soon.